Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we're taking a look at a NASA in the Unity Asset Store called Alchemy Lab Props. It's a fairly old asset I believe, but it's been kept up to date, which is always good. So, first thing that I want to point out with this asset is it does not come with a demo scene, which I always say assets should come with a demo scene just to kind of illustrate a couple of things. For example, this little arrangement here is not something you can see in the pack instantly. So what I've done is I've just created a new scene and dropped a couple of the props and assets in there so we can get a good visualization of what this pack actually is. The overall quality is, I would say, absolutely fantastic. I love how this asset looks. It's so well designed and it's not quite realistic, but it's not quite cartoony. It's kind of that in-between, which I like a lot. It's really, really well put together. And as I always say, you know, a bit of post-processing can go a long way. So, you know, heading into the game view, we can see that, yeah, they look pretty good. But again, just a little bit of post-processing can really bring out how vibrant some of these assets can look. And they look really, really cool. Quantity-wise, there is a lot in this asset pack. There is just so much. So if we go through the neat and tidy folders, we can see here that we have all of these meshes and all of these prefabs. So we're better off going into prefabs and going to furniture, and we can see we have all of these furniture items. And you can see that these are loaded right here. We'll get to that uh, momentarily. And I think if we go to items, we can see once again, all of these items, you know, like the potions, the books, the scrolls, the candles, all of this stuff, everything that you see in this scene will be somewhere here. And look how full these bookcases look without looking repetitive. It is really amazing. And there's so many assets here to work with. And the great thing is we also have the presets and these are some FBX files or prefabs, I should say, uh, which contain all these full bookshelves. And you can see that if we bring in this one here and let's rotate it so we can actually see it, it's full. It's quick and simple as that. Now, I will point out here that each individual item, which is here, for example, is not an individual item inside some of these here. So if you want to make your own, all you would need to do is bring in an empty furniture item and then just stack in the bits that you would want to appear. So, you know, you've got a book there. You can put, uh, what is that, a flask up here. You know, do whatever you want to. So the customizability of all this is almost endless you could create so many different variations of all of these and fit them into, um, let's say, a fantasy-style RPG game. So these would probably look at, ho at home in, let's say, a Witcher game. So you could quite imagine these inside, you know, The Witcher or uh, Elder Scrolls or something like that. So they are going to be incredibly useful in so many different styles of games, and that's why I like this asset quite a lot. It is incredibly versatile because you can modify each and every section that you would want to. So, for example, if you go to the uh, shader, you could change how that looks, uh, change it, let's say, to a standard shader, and then play around with the metallic look, and obviously that has a different effect. You can apply your own materials, apply your own textures, play around with it. It's absolutely brilliant in that sense. Um... As I said, with the usefulness, there's so many different types of games that any of this could fit into. You don't necessarily have to have an alchemy or magic-based game. You could have all of this just for, I don't know, just for the chair, for example. Let's say you just need a, a chair that looks like this. This asset pack's got it, even if you're not creating a fantasy-style game. So let's take a look at the size and the price. Size is just 21 meg. For what we get here, 21 meg is a fantastic size. Uh, I really can't fault that. It's absolutely brilliant. It is free at the time of recording and as always asset prices do change. They can go up, they can come down depending, you know, you might come across this a couple of years after I've recorded it, find this and it could be a couple of dollars but either way I still think it's probably worth a couple of dollars. It is so well made. I absolutely love it. So as you guys know I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And you've probably guessed it now. I would recommend this asset. This is a fantastic asset. It's brilliant. It's got so much potential. There is something here for almost every type of game. Even if it's some wild um, space age um, first person shooter, for example, you might just want a book that you can pick up 
that looks like this. Brilliant, why not? There's something here for so many types of games and I would absolutely recommend this asset, not just to beginners, but even to seasoned pros with Unity. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. If you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why you don't like this asset if you did give it that thumbs down. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well. I would love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. Finally, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I always say that and click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and uh, you'll be notified of when I upload stuff on game development to my channel. So hopefully I will see you around in another video. Thanks very much for watching guys.